Okay guys, so welcome back again. So in this video, let's talk about child processes that are baked inside Node.js. So for those of you who don't know that Node.js processes are single threaded, but what if, if you want to harness the full power of your processor. So for that, we have the child processes and there are four ways to instantiate a child process. Firstly, we have the exec method. Secondly, we have the exec file method. Thirdly, we have the spawn method. And lastly, we have the fork method. So in this video, let's talk about the first three processes. That is the exec, the exec file and the spawn method. And the fork method, we'll be looking that in the next video with a very practical example. So let's see that how do we use these child processes and what are their use cases. So as we see here, I've created a new NPM project and I've created a few files here. That is the exec demo, the exec file demo and the fork demo and the spawn demo.js. So basically we'll be writing all the code related to the exec in the exec demo. Exec file would be inside exec file demo and so on and so forth. So now let's close this package.json file and let's start working upon the exec method of the child process. So firstly, what we need to do, we need to require the exec method from the child process. So we'll say const something equal to require child process simply like this. And then we need to extract the exec method. So we can simply extract it like this. And now what we, we can do with this exec method is that we can run a command inside our shell and we can get the output back inside our terminal here. And for that, I'm going to use a very simple command that is ls hyphen lh to list all the files present inside the current directory with human readable bytes. So let's use this method here. That is the exec method. So here we need to provide in the command as the first argument and the command would be ls hyphen lh. And this would give list us the files in human readable byte format. And then we have a callback here with error as the first parameter. And then secondly, we have the standard output. That is the output coming from the console. And then thirdly, we have the standard error. If there is any error printed out inside the terminal. So now first let's handle this error here. That is in case there is an error executing this command. That is the command might not exist on your system. So we'll check it. So if error then what we simply need to we need to simply log it inside the console so console.log and we'll use backticks here so error and here we can display the actual error using the template string so error dot message simply like this and then we can simply return from this callback function like this secondly we need to check if there is a standard error that is the command has been executed but there is some error inside the terminal so that error is the standard errors and that is the difference between the error and this standard error Error comes when the command is not found or the command has missing arguments while the standard error is the error coming after the command has been executed. So now let's check for the standard error. So std error like this. And here we can use the same thing that is we simply need to log it inside the console. So let's simply paste it here and let's change this error to standard error and this thing here to standard error directly like this. And now finally, if everything works fine, we can simply log out the standard output that is coming inside the terminal after executing this command. So here we can simply make a log statement. So console.log and here we can again use the back text. So standard out and here we can directly print out the standard output like this. So now let's save this file that is exec demo.js. So now let's execute this file that is exec demo.js using node. So we'll say node exec underscore demo dot js and as soon as we execute this command we'll be getting the output inside our terminal so we see here that is here we are seeing the files that are coming from the standard output inside this console here and it lists all the files that are these files present in the current directory in human readable byte format as we can see here but the problem with this exec method is this that all the standard output is taken into buffer and then it is printed out in the console here. So if we write here a command which has a huge standard output that is a huge output coming inside the terminal then we won't be able to use this method that is the exec method and I'll demo it to you by using the find command that is I am finding all the files inside my root directory. So now let's save this and now if we simply do node exec dot exec underscore demo dot js we'll be getting an error here that says standard out max buffer length exceeded it does not mean that this exec method is pretty useless it is very much useful if you want to use small commands like the pwd command that is to print the current working directory so if i use this command i can get the output back here very easily 
and we see that it is coming out as a standard output and we see that the current directory is this directory so it is pretty useful in utilizing a small command that is you can create a directory using this exec method and you can list the files and so on and so forth but not for commands which have a huge standard output so for that we will be using the spawn method but we'll be doing that later on but first let's see that how do we use the exec file method of the child processes so now let's go to this exec file demo.js and firstly here we need to require the exec file method from the child processes so it can be required like this it is like child processes and now here what this method will do it would take in a file name and then it would execute that file as the name suggests so here we need to provide in the file name and then here we have the callback function with the same arguments that is the error in case there is some error then the standard output and then the standard error like this so this should not be here so now we can do the same things as we did in the exec demo so let's copy this piece of code because it is common for both of them so let's copy and let's paste it here so if there is an error we are simply making a log statement of the error if there is a standard error then we are simply again making a log statement otherwise we are simply printing out the standard output but now here we need to provide in a file name that is an executable file so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new executable file so let's create a file here that is touch some file.sh i'm simply creating a shell script here and now let's change the permission of this some file.sh to be executable so i'm doing chmod plus x and here we can provide in the some file.sh to make this file that is some file executable and now this is an executable file so we can use the shebang here so shebang bin bash like this and here i am again going to use the same command that is ls hyphen lh to list all the files in the current directory so now let's save this some file.sh and let's go back to our exec file demo.js and here we can provide in the path of that file so here we can provide in the path like some file.sh simply like this so now let's save this file that is exec file underscore demo dot js so now let's execute this file that is exec file demo dot js using node so node exec file demo dot js and again we see that inside the terminal or inside the console we are getting the output from the standard output as we can see here and now if we do change this file that is some file.sh and now let's change this ls hyphen lh and let's simply print out the current working directory so let's simply use the pwd command here and now if we again do this the thing here that is node exec file demo.js we are going to see the standard output that is the current working directory here but now let's use the same command which field in exec demo that is the find command because it gives us a huge output in the standard output so let's see if it works here so let's again execute this file that is exec file demo.js so again we see that we are getting this error here that is the standard output that is the error here that is maximum buffer length reached so now it is clear to us that is we cannot use these methods that is the exec and the exec file so for that we have a solution and that is the spawn method of the child process so let me comment this out and let me uncomment this and now let's close this file this file and this file so now let's open this spawn demo.js file or the spawn underscore demo.js so firstly here we require the spawn method from the child process so we'll say const something equal to require child process and now here we can extract the spawn method so we can simply extract it like this and now here we can create a child process using this spawn command and firstly i am going to simply list all the files inside the current directory using the spawn method so here we will say const child equal to spawn and here we need to provide in the command name so the command name is ls but there is an argument to this ls command and that is the hyphen lh and those arguments we provide that inside an array here so we can provide the argument like this that is ls and then the arguments inside the array and whatever command you are using you can simply provide in the arguments here inside this array using comma separated values so now here we have created this child process using the spawn command and now we need to listen on the standard output on the standard error and then on the error itself and then finally on the exact event on this process so now we need to do little work here so child dot standard out that is 
on data that is the data coming from the standard output and here we have the data itself and here we can again simply make a log statement again so console.log whatever the standard output is coming so std out and here we can print out the data using the template string like this and now we need to listen for the standard error so we again say child dot standard error dot on and here we have the data that is the data from the standard error and then we have the data itself uh, like this and then we can simply again log it inside the console so console dot log standard error so std error and then we can simply print out the error using the template string using this data thing here and then we need to listen for the error event on this child so we can say child dot on here we have the error event and then we have the error itself and then we can simply log it inside the console that is console dot log using the template string so error would be this error so error dot message like this and now if you want you can also listen for the exit event so we can say child dot on and here we have this event that is the exit and then here it takes in two things that is the code and the signal so if there is some code then we can say console.log process exit with some code with code or let's put it like this and the code would be this code and if there is some signal then we can simply log it inside again so console.log process killed with signal and then we can print out the signal code itself so this would be signal here like this and finally if everything works fine we can simply make a log statement that done so we can simply say done and we can use this emoji here that is the check mark so we can use this thing here so now that's all what we need to do to spawn a child process so now if we save this spawn demo.js if we run this file that is node spawn demo.js we see that we get a list of all the files inside the current directory and finally after printing out the output that is after the standard out when the process exited we get this thing here that is done which means that the process has been exited successfully so now let's see if we can use the find command here so instead of doing this that is ls let's use the find command and here the argument was only forward slash that is we were trying to use this thing here that is find forward slash but we were not to be able to do so in the exec method and the exec file method so let's see if we are able to use that inside the spawn dev, spawn method so now let me run this file again by you doing node spawn demo.js and let me increase the terminal size here and let's press enter and we see that we are getting all the standard output that we would have gotten inside our terminal inside our console here and that is because the spawn method does not use the buffer it uses streams so that all the standard output that is coming inside the terminal is streamed inside our console here so now let me stop this uh, process by doing control c so guys this is all about exec exec file and spawn method and in the next video we'll be looking into the fork method of the child process and we'll be looking into a more practical example so let's do that in the very next video